How much weaker would the US dollar be if each citizen receives a $1,000 bonus from the government? Currently there are talks of issuing a $1,000 payout to all American citizens earning less than $130,000, presuming the final number of recipients is 200 million people, this is equivalent to injecting $200 billion into the economy out of thin air. But of course money cannot be artificially increased without causing inflation, as demonstrated by the extreme example of Zimbabwe in the last decade. So how much value could the US dollar be expected to lose if the plan goes ahead? This is a question on the minds of just about everyone in the FX markets right now. Unfortunately, there is no great answer. It's sort of like asking if stocks are going to go up or down. I'll list here the three big things that will determine the value of the USD in the medium term. There are many others but I believe these to be the big ones. 1. The decrease in economic activity as a result of the coronavirus should be strongly deflationary. This can increase the amount of stuff that a dollar can buy because there isn't as much demand for the stuff. So effectively the dollar strengthens. 2. A flight to safety during time of stress where the USD is generally considered the safest currency. The dollar has generally been strengthening against other currencies. Part of this strengthening has been related though to the fact that a lot of borrowing happens in USD and when you borrow USD and then lose money you have to pay back the USD that you lost. This has meant dollar buying, which has certainly contributed to the recent dollar strength. 3. Stimulus, relief efforts on the part of the federal gov to counteract the economic effects of the virus mean more debt to GDP. Giving people money to spend like this in inflationary, which should reduce the value of the dollar. The more debt you have relative to your ability to pay, then the more those lending to you should theoretically charge you in interest because you are a riskier borrower and less likely to make good on all of your payments. So we have two deflationary effects and one large inflationary effect. The depth and length of the crisis will determine how much dollar strength we see from number one and number two, and the gov response to the depth and breadth of the crisis will determine number three. They're intertwined. Asterisk. Asterisk here strength is relative to the price of goods and used in the deflationary sense of strength. 